Alibaba just reported earnings earlier this morning. I've just read the report and it was a blast. The stock is up more than 4% and in this video I will share with you the key takeaways, what I liked in the report. Uh, I will share my opinion on the Alibaba stock and I will talk to you about what I think the Alibaba stock is heading in the future. So, tune in. So, the stock is up around 3%. It's around the $100 mark. The stock was above that mark. Now it's trading around that. But it is really good. It was a really good report. Um, to bear in mind, their revenue is up 14%, which is really good. I was not expecting that. I w I'm really bullish on Alibaba and uh, I know the Chinese economy is not rebounding as good as expected in the first half of the year uh, they are having problems in their economy so I was not expecting this report to be as good as it, as it was their net income was up 51% year on year last year was a bad year for Alibaba I know but this is really good they are turning around they are making a lot of money again and i'm really happy on that so one thing i, I want to highlight is that their taobao and Timau group uh segment is up it was up 12 percent year on year it was really good uh alibaba international digital commerce group was up 41 percent this is really good their international segment is growing a lot good news their local service 30% up year on year their Kenya logistics group 34% their digital media and entertainment group 36% year on year that was really good but I looked into their cloud intelligent group and they were only up 4% that's the bad news I was not expecting that if I'm looking to Alibaba and their growth prospects I was thinking their cloud segment it will be the catalyst uh, pushing the stock higher I'm expecting a lot for their cloud segment um, I do believe that's really bullish in the company but this report was not good on that and the rest was really really good and um, compensate to the bad it, uh, the bad growth we had in the cloud uh, group but my opinion uh, was I was expecting more for the cloud segment and I was not expecting the other segments to grow as they have grown in the last year so in general it was a really good report 14% revenue in their growth in the last year I was not expecting that uh, their margins increasing uh, making money a lot of money again invest they are investing doing their share buybacks again and uh, they talked about their restructuring plan they are restructuring the, the company in these different segments so they have uh, the opportunity to do some ipos uh doing a dividend with the shares of cloud their cloud segments i'm looking forward to it and as an alibaba shareholder i'm really bullish in that i'm really loving their plan and i do believe this plan uh this kind of growth this company with this quality uh, i do believe uh, alibaba shareholders will outperform the market in the next month in the next few years so uh, i'm expecting the chinese economy to rebound they are stimulating the economy now um, i do believe the chinese economies like jd pinduoduo tencent alibaba can resume their growth uh, can resume to making a lot of profits again and as a shareholder i'm i'm expecting to uh, to increase uh, my earnings with this company so uh, i have um, i owned pinduoduo a lot now it's a new holding of mine i'm really bullish on that company as i'm bullish and alibaba which is my biggest holding and um, i do believe i really like alibaba uh when i looked into the company i do really like their quality they're growing a lot turning to be profitable again uh, resuming their growth and i do believe the chinese economy is uh, in a good position to 
to recover. Um, they are still uh, Chinese government is doing a lot of stimulus, um, and I do believe companies like Alibaba, Pinduoduo, JD will benefit from that, and uh, they will resume growth, uh, making a lot of profits. And I look to that companies, and and I look into that, they are really undervalued companies, and uh, I'm expecting to to up from the market investing on them. So. Uh, so what I liked in the Alibaba, it's a really good company. Uh, they have a lot of things we like. Uh, they are growing a lot. Uh, good margin for uh, retail. Um, their return on invested capital and in, on equity is not the best, but with this investment and their profits going up again, I do believe they will increase a lot. They have a wide moat. They are making a lot of profit. They have a lot of cash in hand, and they are investing in a good way doing share buybacks which i really like they continue to to buy back their shares which uh, is really good for us shareholders uh, they have almost no debt a lot of money and uh, this is a company with everything we want except they are a chinese company and we don't know what to expect from the chinese government in the future uh, that's the risk investing in this company but i'm willing to take that risk and uh, I'm hoping in the future it will um, outperform the market. That's what I think about Alibaba. So, earnings report was really good. Uh, I was optimistic about this company, but uh, I was expecting some difficulties since in the first half of the year the Chinese economy is not doing as well as expected. For example, uh, and uh, it was a really good start for. Uh, for the earnings report on Chinese companies, we'll have next JD, Tencent, and Pinduoduo reporting as well. We will look into it, uh, and uh, I hope uh, they uh, they crushed it as well. So, uh, Alibaba really good report. I'm pleased on that. My fair value is around 120, 130 dollars. Uh, it's a really conservative analysis. There are a lot of investors who done. We have done analysis on Alibaba in their fair value, intrinsic value is around $200, even $300. For me, it's around $120 and comfortable buying this company under that price. Uh, but you have to look into it, uh, look into the risk, because there are a lot of risks. But in my opinion, Alibaba continues to be one of the best opportunities out there. A lot of risk, but uh, I'm hoping there are a lot of rewards in the future about this company. So. In general, I really love the report. I do think Alibaba stock, if you continue to have good news on the Chinese economy and uh, other Chinese company, I do believe Alibaba will continue to, the price of the stock will increase. Uh, there are a lot of resistance in the $120 mark. So if you came into that and um, there are no turning down, I do believe Alibaba can hit uh, $200 in the near future uh, if they continue their plan and they continue to grow, they continue to increase their profits. There is nothing that uh, can uh, put Alibaba stock down. So that's my opinion. Uh, I'm really bullish on this stock, as you know. Uh, I'm hoping to outperform the market uh, owning this stock and uh, that's my opinion. Really good earnings. I hope you find this video helpful. So if you liked it, please subscribe guys. Bye.